In this video, we'll use the Focal Statistics tool to smooth out our CDL 2014 layer and use two different parameters and compare them. First, search for the Focal Statistics tool. There should be two versions of this tool and either one will work. Set the input raster as CDL 2014 and name the output raster as Crop Majority 1 or Crop Madge 1 for short. Next, let's set the neighborhood parameter to a rectangle and set the height and width to 3 by 3. Finally, make sure that the statistics type is set to majority. The focal statistics tool uses what's called a moving window to smooth the raster data based on neighboring pixels and the statistics type that we set. Essentially, we are manipulating each pixel to match what the majority crop type is that falls within our three cell by three cell window. Once the new layer is rendered, do the same thing again, but use a seven by seven window and instead title this raster crop majority two. Once both of the new layers have been created, let's change our color scheme to match our CDL 2014 layer. First we need to export the symbology of our CDL 2014 layer as a color map. If you notice in the symbology pane, each crop or vegetation type is given a unique color. We can export the CDL 2014 layer as a color map to use on our crop majority layers. Right click on the CDL 2014 layer and select symbology and in the top right click the little hamburger icon and select export color map. Navigate to your project folder and save it somewhere outside of your geodatabase. You can save it in your data folder or your project folder just make sure it's outside of your geodatabase. Name the new layer CDL underscore 2014 underscore color ramp. Next, We'll do the same process except we'll import our new color map into our crop majority one layer. Also make sure to save your project. Right click on the crop majority one layer and go to symbology. Let's switch our symbology from stretch to unique values. You'll notice that a random set of colors will be assigned for each crop value. We want the colors to match our CDL 2014 layer, so let's go into the options panel in the top right and click import color map. You might not see your color map that we just exported, and if this is the case, let's go ahead and save our project and close Arc Pro and open it again. It's likely that the cache just needs to refresh, and by closing the application and opening it again, it should appear. Now that our color map has been added, click on the crop majority one and you should see that it's colorized the same as our original data set. Go ahead and repeat the same process for the crop majority two layer.
Once both of our crop majority layers have been symbolized correctly, we should now be able to tell the differences between our three rasters. Zoom in and toggle on and off the three crop layers, the CDL 2014, crop majority 1, and crop majority 2, and see if you can see a difference between all three of them. In the next video, we'll split these two layers into separate maps so we can create a layout later.